In March 2020, a custom-designed manufacturing facility was installed here at Lanan Precision by Mill CNC. And guess what? I've been invited here to take a look. Hi, I'm Jim Lenan. I'm the owner of Lenan Precision. Uh, Lenan Precision was set up in 1994, primarily to serve the local market. We were doing jigs, fixtures, tooling, that sort of way. Um, in the last six or seven years, we've branched out into aerospace. So at the moment, we've kind of moved from a jig and fixture tooling sort of company to more of a precision component manufacturer. We're based in Smithstown and Shannon. So we're about three miles from uh, Shannon Airport, so good connectivity for our customers in now and good for us to be able to get out to our customers as well. The, the cell, um, it was installed in April 2020, um, just before COVID, but it has really changed the way we, we, we do our work. Um, sort of the way we look at it now at the moment is we do all our, our fixturing and first offs during the day and at the, in the evening time and weekends is when all our production runs. So. It has worked very well for us and been a driver behind our growth really and truly. Um, and we've won, we've won several aerospace contracts on the back of having this in, in here in the business. So, and we expect the robot and, and the cell itself to, to be able to grow. So it's a 165 kg robot. So there's plenty of room in that, that if we're for bigger parts. Again, at the moment, we're only constrained by the machine, but that would be phase one. Basically, our initial concept was phase one and phase two would to be add two more machines. So that will give us a level of flexibility. Plus, we can add bigger machines onto the cell. Um, and it doesn't, we don't have to add more automation. The automation that's there at the moment, we can just extend the rail so that the robot moves further. Um, so that allows us to be flexible going forward as well. We, we have an ongoing relationship with Mills uh, since, this, since we started buying CNC's first. And like, we find them great. Declan was a huge help to us. Declan Boyle was a huge help to us um, when we started looking at the cell um, and how we how we do it work. And he brought his knowledge as well to help us to design the cell. Um, the guys, the engineers that come in, they know the place, we know them. So there's a great relationship between us and Mills at the moment. No matter what machine you buy, it's going to break down. They can all say whatever they want to say, but a machine is going to break down. And for us, the big thing was how fast is it going to get back up again? And generally, to date, over the six or seven years that we have Dusons, they're in the following day, which is huge. Um, the reason we bought Dusons, there's, there's a lot of them in the area, there's a couple of big companies that lose a lot of Dusons. So initially our, our thinking was, well, if they have engineers in the area, then you know they can come on site. We could have bought different machines. You're down at the end of their list of importance because you've only one machine maybe. So it was all about how fast they could serve us and how fast they could look after us. And they have been brilliant in all fairness. So it's great to hear from Jim, the owner and founder of the business. But I was curious as to an installation of this magnitude, how it would affect the production engineering department. My name is James Ryan. I am production manager here in Lane Precision. The, de the introduction of this automation cell for Lane Precision, it's been a game changer, Paul. It's allowed us to look at high volume work it's also given us the flexibility for our lower volume, complex work. So we're not just a production machine shop, but the automation cell has definitely helped us in a situation where we have lights out at the moment, machining. We've upgraded the Swarf management system on the machines from the outset. And we've also spec'd out the machines for sister tooling, for automatic probing, automatic in-process inspection of the components on the machine before they're removed through the machine. Some of what we do is not automation, it's not high volume. So we need to ensure it's right off the machine first time. And the flexibility from this machine cell, from Mills has given us, has given us that. So our production is generally inside the footprint of 450 millimeter square, but it could be as small as 100 millimeter square, depending on what we're machining. We have aluminum, titanium, some other complex stainless steels. Um, Obviously, it's the aerospace industry here for Lenin that we feed a lot into, but there's also the oil and gas industry and the medical device sector as well. 
So we, we, we have two uh, separate controllers. One is Siemens, one is developed by Fanuc for the robot machine itself. All of our interaction from an automation point of view is with the console here, that uh, our programs are fed into it, all of our presets for all of our automation datums, they're all set into it as well. We only actually use the Siemens controller on the machine control for measuring tools. All of the pellets are loaded. There's a pellet loading station in the front. Once the guys on the floor put their fixture or their tooling on the pellet, we give it a predefined area on the system for where, it's, where it is to be stored. And then the, the Fenwick arm then takes the pellet from the loading area, puts it on the rack. So this, the system is quite clever. It can detect broken tools. It can change out for sister tooling. It can put away a pellet where there's been an issue and it can take the next pallet and start again. It can also go back to where it broke a tool, pick up from where the program had the issue and continue on that at the end of the night. So it's, it's definitely made our job easier here in the Lamp Precision, the, the introduction of the automation cell. We know what capacity is available to us. We can quote jobs much faster and we can set up jobs much faster and we're definitely more competitive. And the heartbeat in any solution like you're seeing here is of course the partnership. Let's hear from Mill CNC. My name is Declan Boyle. Um, I'm the business manager for Mill CNC in Ireland. Um, I've been, I look after the whole of Ireland. Uh, I've been working for them for the last 10 to 12 years. Um, so I've been selling CNC machines into Ireland in the marketplace for many years before that. Um, I know a lot of customers in the marketplace. Um, today we're actually looking at a 5-axis machine, it's probably one of the biggest sellers that I have in 5-axis, it's called the DVF 5000 machine. Um, so this has sort of brought us into a new generation of 5-axis. This Probably the reason why is because it's pivoting around the Y-axis instead of the X-axis. So in situations, what we have here today, which is the automation cell, you can actually load in from the side and you can work this machine in and out the front door um, on the day-to-day -day operations leave the production for later on that night. Um, yeah, myself and Jim have gone back a really long way, um, over 20 years, to be honest with you. Um, and in fairness, like, you know, Mills, when Mills and Doosan machines came into this part, it made my life a lot easier because in fairness to the machines, they do what they say on the tin, you know? They work hard, they don't break down that often. But what Jim was, Jim was always a man that like, I mean, he was always worried about broke down machine. And his customers used to give him grief, Jim gave me grief. So to be honest with you, over the years, I tried to speak to the best knowledge and technology that I have offered to offer Jim um, on these machines. But um, in fairness, what we did is we sat down and even though the cell might look a bit big in a sense, but what we decided to do, we said to Jim, okay, what's the point in going down the road of a shoebox size automation to keep the footprint smaller? This is a long-term investment. So let's think about what the machine, what's inside the machine. So we went on the work envelope and the weight of the machine. So we knew then we had to put in a bigger robot so we can cover every area that this machine can handle inside the door can be now automated. So that's a key factor to it all. Um, yeah, when Mills, when Mills decided to get into the automation, I was over the moon like, um, because one of the key things that I did discover as I was traveling around, that you had in two different separate integrators. So you had, the guys, the robot integrators, and then you had the machine tool guys. So, you know, you got into sticky situations when they ran into problems that, whose fault was it? So the key thing is the book stops with us now because at the end of the day, we're the integrators. As well as that, when they were developing the software, I was so impressed with the software. It's because a group of guys in Mill CNC have been machine tending for many, many years, and they've all of a sudden came along and wrote the software to suit. So now you're actually getting these guys that have been doing this for a long time, remembering every action that's required, air blasts, sap chucks, you know, all this information is all being done and specialized in software to make life a lot easier. And what a success story. This company clearly making leaps towards becoming a market leader in the delivery of quality precision components at an affordable and competitive price, thanks to automation. None of which could have been achieved without their partnership with Mill CNC.